It'll be so funny when they find your dead body instead. I'm going to shove it down the chimney. Oh, don't summon him. That seems like a stupid thing to do. <laughs> that must be two if he's captured, then. Eh, uh, fight. Not him. <laughs> like that. Fuck you, Malix, is the achievement there. No way was this happening. No way was I going to let myself be a victim of this. Gotta remember, what was in that book? Why are you whimpering? Are you praying that the boys will come and save you? Ho, ho, ho! I kept grumbling, trying to remember and shut my eyes. Studying for a brief second wasn't enough to keep a spell in my mind, but I had to try something, anything. All of a sudden, the air grew still and silent. I opened my eyes and looked around and gasped at the sight. Everything was frozen in time, as if the clocks had stopped and everything had followed suit. What if it's an elaborate, jo elab elaborate um, scheme? And they knew you were going to try spells that you couldn't control. And they're all pretending. What the? <laughs> At first, I instantly <laughs> wanted to move, but my feet were glued to the ground. Guess I couldn't change time and escape from where I was. But I was still lost. What was I supposed to do? <laughs> Hello, I'm an orb. A soft whisper wind made me turn it to a floating purple orb. I stared as, as it glowed, giving off a warm feeling. For some reason, this thing made me feel happy and content. Despite the situation I was in, my heart felt like crying, yet I didn't know why. It couldn't have been. Grandfather? I'm a ball! As I muttered, the orb slowly grew and faded into the spirit of my grandfather from where I last saw him. I stared up at him, completely shocked that I was correct and his form was standing in front of me. I guess it was a good idea to bring you to my hair after all. What? Is that really you? What do you mean? Grandfather smiled before patting my head gently. Couldn't feel it, but I knew he tried, so I closed my eyes in acknowledgement before looking at him again. Sweetie, I'm sorry for not telling you, but I didn't know if you had his know. I like gangbangs of a group of younger men. That you handled ritual, ritualistic demon magic? Yes, that one. Why? What was the gain to learning and using demon magic? It's fun. It wasn't a matter of gaining anything except knowledge. Through magic, I was able to learn more about the demon world and its wonders. I even met your incubi friends. We yeah. had all of the sex. You met the boys? Was there sex? Yes, it was I who helped them come here. But it seems it was the cost of my life. What? What? Why? What? Actually, why? Why sacrifice yourself like that? One hell of an orgasm. None of that made sense. He died to bring the incubi into the human world. Why? My mind was practically screaming in anger. Anger. I needed answers. With time being frozen, we had all the time in the world. Why would you die for something like that? Why leave us alone? Why leave me alone? I wasn't intending to, my dear. But now I'm gone, you'll have a chance to find yourself without anything hindering you. What? Your father has always been so hard on you. And I am to blame for that. He learned of my studies before he married your mother and pushed me away, promising to never follow in my footsteps. As he was my son, I still loved and cared for him. I helped him in little ways, from paying bills and making sure he had food to come home with by adding money to his accounts. You don't know how hard your father worked to get where he is now. I said, trying to take it all in. You were a parent. It was true that my dad worked really hard, but I didn't realise how rough he'd had it, what with other people paying his bills and giving him extra money. Yeah, that one. I, I, I'm starting to see where the capitalist douchebag comes from. Yeah. When you were born, I couldn't have been happier. I tried to give as many toys as I could. And since I own a toy company, I had a lot of toys. But many of them were tossed away by your father to protect you from me. Hence the, <laughs> hence the, uh, uh, yes, uh, hence that rubbish tip that in your, in your back garden, which is entirely made of soft toys. I thought I would never be able to see you, but when I found you on that street, I was blessed to have been given a chance. After I brought you back to your parents, I asked your mother to convince your father to let you visit me more often, and he finally agreed. So what you're saying is. Her dad didn't want to see you or to associate with your, your child, and, but you went to her mother to make a flying monkey. Yeah. You're not a good guy. Why does dad hate you so much? Why put that on me? Satan. Mm. Your father saw me as a monster, what of controlling the power of Satan himself. He was afraid I would hurt you, 
in a similar way to that I hurt myself by dying through the magic. He wanted to protect you from me at all costs, because he seemed to think I there's something wrong with using the power of Satan. Even if that meant becoming a monster to you himself. What? Oh, that's a flashback, I'm assuming. All right. You did not know my father. You did not know what he was capable of. He truly does love and care for you, apart from the caring part. But he didn't want you to be as curious as I was. So he quashed any ambition you might have and any form of self-worth you may feel. Curious? I chose to learn about magic. I grew curious about it. He thought that was wrong. So when I didn't give it up, he shut me out of his life. What a... St oh, that's <laughs> you again. What a stubborn old man. So I did the only thing I could do. I gave everything I owed to you, including my hidden books that your father never knew of. My head began to spin. There was too much information. It was all going so fast, despite time not moving a single inch. I'm just so happy my curiosity stayed with you. So my grandfather met the incubi. That seems so surreal. because and gave, it brings up some images you don't want to have about your grandparents. Mm. could hardly believe it, yet here was the spirit of my grandfather telling me. Do, do, you, think that was, do you think that would be before or after his wife died that he um, summoned the incubi? No, no. During. Oh, man. Yeah. I was, I was thinking, it was just one hell of a sex party. So you introduced them to the human world. That's right. I told them about the humans, of, uh, humans, the wonders of our world, and they wanted to come to experience it. So I helped them come over and gave them everything they needed. They travelled everywhere, and I helped them as they learned more about humans. Then I suddenly stopped breathing. <laughs> And then I was dead. <coughs> I don't know why, but I believe it was because my time was up. I suddenly died because I was dead. Okay. <laughs> After I died, the boys tried to come back. However, Malix attacked them instantly when they crossed his path. I used the last bit of my strength to guide them to the estate, so they had a place to stay to heal. Ah, oh, so that's why they were in the house. But they said they didn't know about the house belonging to anyone. I never told them it belonged to anyone. That, that, that's usually what happens in houses. I merely told them to head to the estate for shelter and so they could learn to live on their own with someone else's help, so it's not really on any way. If the estate was meant for them, why give it to me? I never knew your father would move you in so quickly. I didn't think he was quite that horrible a person. Even still, you managed to learn of them and learn of the demon world. By meeting them. You were even curious enough to study the magic by reading a book you found that looked vaguely interesting once. Why not teach me when I visited? You were six. I don't think I even need to read the rest of that. No. Because it literally sums up as, you were six. What, what are you saying? I've barely begun reading it. I don't remember anything. I will help you remember. Deus Ex Grandfather. <laughs> Then Basically, I will only ever once you've studied once you've studied things a certain amount, I will uh, help you remember special abilities. Maybe, uh, um, maybe we'll do this in a certain thing if it was levels. You see, <laughs> that would be a bit more interesting. To be fair, <laughs> then Go on. grandfather gently bent down and kissed my forehead. All at once, my mind began to fill with spells and history of arcane magic, the demon world, and everything my grandfather had ever known, ever. Er, uh, grandfather, please take the audio away. <laughs> please take these memories away. I, I don't want to know about how grandmother drowned. <laughs> I looked up at my grandfather again, now able to remember everything, and more, and more, as he smiled down at me, quite creepily. Never forget... How your grandmother drowned. <laughs> <laughs> ah, that's all. That's how I want the world to remember her. <laughs> Make your own choices and do what you need to do. Don't let someone determine your life for you. Not even me. If you decide to never look at magic at all, I'll understand. But at least you know it's there. My grandfather then patted my head before turning and walking away. Tried to follow after, still unsure, but my feet remained stuck to the floor. Wait, please. 
He didn't turn back and he didn't stop walking. Soon he vanished past the wall, leaving me once again alone. I gritted my teeth, trying not to cry out. My mind was filled with both power to defend myself and a large amount of confusion I could never hope to shake off. She got kidnapped, froze time. Ghost granddad t uh, turns up, goes, right, here's all the uber powerful spells you can cast at these bunch of fucks. And then disappears. I could feel the air around me start to move again, so I tightened my hands into fists, trying to push away my concerns. I had to remember I was Malix's captive, had to escape. After escaped, I could figure out my life. Soon the world around me returned to normal with Malix mocking me. I closed my eyes and began to mutter a spell from my memory. Spiritus Lumine de fortuni Fortitudinum Taum. <laughs> what the? Latin? You fuck. How would you know Latin? Desado. Ah! All of a sudden, a wave of light burst from my body, washing over the room, and I pushed the devils away from me <laughs> to the ground. Oh, to the ground. <clears throat> I thought because the Desado began to descend. No, it just pushes them into the floor. As the light quickly faded, I shook my head, feeling a small weakness in my legs. Malix quickly hopped up and growled at me, obviously surprised, but irritated beyond belief. Where did you learn that? I'll rip that tongue right out of your mouth. Oh, God. Spiritus to never... Prohibitor. Come here! Malik's charge at me, dropping the gun that would never hurt me to the floor and reaching for my face. However, I quickly crouched and covered my hands with my arms while a dark magic circle appeared under my feet. Above me, a dark shield appeared, blocking Malik's from touching me. Was it shaped like a giant middle finger? <laughs> you how? You're just a human! And you're a racist. A human who knows how to fight back against racist, but not rapist for some reason. Yeah. Yeah, that's a good point. This one's just um, a racist murderer rather than the other ones, which were racist rapists. So, mm. um, yeah, I don't, I, don't, I don't approve of who we're hanging around with. Um, just in, in general, it's, yeah. Yeah, it's just <laughs> it's kind of one of those things of kind of a, I need to re really reevaluate my life decisions um, up to this point. It's <laughs> Push... weird because I don't remember making any. <laughs> I pushed against the shield, forcing Malix back before standing. I wasn't some damsel in distress. I could fight for myself. I shook out the sudden appearance of numbness in my hands as I glared at Malix, challenging him once again to come at me, bruv. Malix. Heal. No, stay out of it. I'll kill this bitch with my own two hands, one way or another. As commanded, Eris stood away from us along with the other devils. I Oh, she's what? got a name, apparently. Okay. The group watching us was lost in intrigue as I stood up against their leader. Who <laughs> looks like an edgy 15-year-old. Uh... <laughs> no, you must think you're some tough shit since you know some mad demon magic. Well, guess what, princess? Demon magic consumes energy. I can play this all day. And then you, when you finally lose all your energy, your ass is grass. I glared, knowing that what he said was true. I couldn't hold out forever. But I'd run out of mana eventually. But I definitely had the energy to last a while until someone found me or until I could overpower Malik somehow. Malik's charged at me once again, causing me to run backwards to keep some sort of distance. Why not just angle him towards the... Angle yourself towards the door and... Yeah, just leave. Leave. I could yeah. feel energy wanting to shoot out of my hands, so I pointed my palms at Malik's. Light purple strike spikes suddenly began shooting from my hands, forcing Malik to skid back. Pew pew. I had terrible aim, from his, the fact he's only a few feet away. I was able to scratch the edges of his body with one or two, actually stabbing into his shoulder and leg. Malik growled, pulling them out and throwing them to the ground. Quit playing around, Malik. I lowered my hands, feeling the numbness run up through my veins to consume most of my arms. I began to pant desperate for some relief before continuing. Max smirked at the sight. Oh, for the love of God, please someone find me, I prayed. I hoped that I wouldn't have to keep fighting. I was becoming desperate. What made everyone in that warehouse drop our fighting faces was the screech of police sirens coming closer <laughs> to our location. <laughs> Malik smirked even wider. It's time to have fun, boys. Make sure you kill them all. The devil seemed to get excited and started to walk past us to meet the cops. A loud finger snap stopped them and it made, my t made them turn around. Malix and I looked to see Eris with a hand in the air post-snap. <laughs> Just like Thanos. <laughs> 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 
Harris, what are you doing? Enough, Malix. We've wasted enough time in this stupid town. I'm getting out of here and I'm taking the rest with me. I didn't know whether to laugh or not. I bit my tongue as Malix got angry again. Like hell you are. Boys, do as I say or else. None of the boys moved. Eris snapped her fingers again, causing the boys to ra rush back past her and out another way from the warehouse. Malix, it's over. You can't even beat up a human girl. You're losing your powers. Lower devils only follow higher-ups that actually have power. Shut your mouth! Malik summons his gun to his hands and shot multiple times at Eris, who somehow managed to teleport away from the shooting line and reappear by us. She shook her head, letting out a sigh before grabbing Malik by the necks and pulling him off me. Malik started to choke Eris, choke as Eris stared coldly at him. All this for a bunch of pretty boys. You must be stupid and desperate. Eris looked to me, making me tense up. Human? I suggest heading home to your pretty boys. You don't want to get involved in a supernatural investigation. It's a pain in the arse. These two guys turn up in a dark car with sawn off shotguns. It, it, it gets messy. Then she turned back to Malik's glaring daggers into him as he glared back at her. You really think women are weak? Let me fix that, sweetie. And with that, Eris vanished into the shadows, taking Malik's with her. As I was left alone, the police sirens stopped. I look over over to the open passage to see the incubi with a large police uh, siren <laughs> megaphone staring in surprise. <laughs> yeah, we, we picked us up from a joke shop and we bought a megaphone. <laughs> yeah, d devils don't don't spend much time here, so they can't tell the difference. <laughs> Where is he? I swear I'm gonna. He's gone. Eris took him and left and they won't I be just, coming back. I love the fact they're just gonna... <laughs> <laughs> It was all so surreal. I was helped by a devil. But I quickly shook off the feeling I was alive and that was all that mattered. The thing is, we've got no reason to think that devils in general are bad. No, Eris seems all right. Just, uh, one of them said <clears throat> they're going to rough up our friends who sexually assaulted us when we first met them. Um, <laughs> so And are known for doing such things. Yeah. I mean, it could just be that there's, you know myths and stuff about Incubi that are inaccurate you never know but they haven't refuted any of them and you'd think they would have met, brought it up at least once yeah by this. we're Incubi don't worry it's not like that I fought to stay alive and there I was boys tried to question me but James cleared his throat catching the attention of his brothers and me let's just get you here miss there's nothing more to see here all together we began to walk out of the warehouse back home there was no way in hell that anyone was going to find out about this. It was I just imagine, imagine one of them has just still got the siren going. <laughs> Malix was gone and the boys were finally safe. Nice to come back. <clears throat> a wave of relief ran through my body at the thought of never having to deal with that group again. At the same time, a ping of realisation hit the back of my mind. The boys were only going to stay until after Malix was defeated. That was our deal. As we approached home, I could feel something heavy way down my heart. It was late, but the boys led me inside and turned the lights on in the lobby. Finally, we can relax. It would be good to have some rest of our devils breathing down our necks. It's been three days, guys. Ugh, I'm just tired. Can I hit the hay early? I want to hit something at least. I think some sleep would be good for all of us. Ugh. I looked at Damien, knowing he could read my mind and frowned. I didn't want him to know my thoughts on the situation. And now that he knows, you don't want him to know. <clears throat> yeah. Yeah, bed sounds good. Just wanted to... I wanted to just end tonight. Too much had happened. I felt dizzy trying to figure it out. However, Damien spoke up, stopping us all from moving. Should we be gone in the morning? The air became still with tension. The realisation of the situation hit the boys like a wave, forcing them to turn to me in curiosity. They'd remembered their deal and now were waiting me to decide their fate. I gulped, face, with, forced to, face to face with the reality of the situation. Boys were leaving it up to me. They looked like they were willing to accept whatever I had demanded. It was only fair, though, after all that happened. Mm. <clears throat> I looked at Damien, feeling my heart flutter in my chest. Didn't want him to leave, but would I, he ask to stay? Hoped that he would say no and ask me to stay longer. As he knew what I wanted, Damien moved and stepped to me, staring into my eyes with almost pleading eyes. His eyes made me want to whimper in guilt, but then he spoke. 
I know that we've only been here for a short while, but you've done so much for us just by giving us a place to stay. However, if I may be honest, I really would like to stay here longer. Can we? Her heart skipped whilst a large red blush uh, ran across my cheeks. The boys stared at Damien wide-eyed, but didn't spare dare to speak out. Damien stepped back to give me some space returning to where he was. I moved my gaze across each boy, trying to make a decision. If they left in the morning, I'd never see them again and my life could return to normal. If I did decide to let them go, it would have been for the best. No goodbyes, no delays. But did I want to? They'd done so much for me. <laughs> okay. In such a small amount of time. Wait, what have they done? Mm, they were pretty at her. Yeah. Not just pretty, just pretty at her. Yeah. Yeah, they got to stay, otherwise we're not going to sex anyone. Yeah. yeah, if they all fuck off, it's just the game ends. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> it's just... Well, nothing occurred. Oh, okay. I wanted them to stay. I wanted him to stay. The others could, if they wished to, fuck off. Yeah. I merely smiled, staring at the man I'd come to have feelings for after three days before speaking at last. I'd love Feelings. 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 Very organic feelings. Yes. Not Uh. at all forced in the situation. I would love it if you could all stay. I mean, hmm. Boys cheered tiredly, but nonetheless enthusiastically. I maybe giggled. They could, maybe they could help us find um, some kind of magic spell that r- scrubs memories that were implanted by a grandfather. Yeah, there is that. Yeah, particularly the ones about the, you know, the drowning. Um, the boys cheered tiredly, but nonetheless enthusiastically. I giggled at the sight. It was cute to see everyone so excited, despite the tiredness that ran equally through our bodies. Today was a rough day. I mean, for me, not so much for them. Now, they they just... walked in a straight line going, wee, you, wee. <laughs> <clears throat> My home is your home as long as you can still help with chores. Boys nodded in unison, agreeing to the terms I'd set for them. Despite the good situation, I felt myself... Could you stop? <laughs> we don't know how to do scene transitions. <laughs> well, I'm going to bed. Would be fine here. <laughs> Fucking Does she have some kind of medical problem? <laughs> she's a fucking narcoleptic at this point. It's it, it, literally she's either got that or some kind of low blood pressure disorder. <laughs> oh, actually, the low blood. See, that's another nice twist they could have done. She's trying to power up Incubi whilst having some kind of low blood pressure or disorder, sugar blood, you know, blood sugar levels or something that means her energy levels are either are different limited. or variable. Yeah. Yeah. I felt myself slowly slipping into unconsciousness. However, James quickly clapped his hands together, getting everyone's attention and waking me up, making sure I didn't pass out on the floor. (laughs) James is like, okay, we need to go because she obviously needs some kind of medical attention. Oh God, not again, clap. It's good. No, you're not (laughs) fainting again. It's getting annoying. All right, everyone. everyone. We're all tired. Let's head to bed, shall we? Who's bed? Oh, yeah, sleep is actually a thing, right? You've done nothing. <laughs> yeah, I've had a long day, but it's good to just relax tonight and tomorrow. It's Tuesday, isn't it? Yeah. No, 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 it's still Monday. Yeah, well, that's what I meant. T- tomorrow would be Tuesday. Yeah. It doesn't work. It's not normally to normal have a day off on Tuesday. I mean, I think it's reasonable to pull a sickie. Um, yeah. See if oh, I was Don't... just kidnapped yesterday. I mean, sounds really yeah. So sleep sounds really good right now. Yeah, man. They don't all have to say something. Yeah. Could, could you just not? I mean, you know, some of them just go, "Hmm, mm. that's interesting." Yeah. The boys all agreed, and we headed to bed. Not the same bed as in different <laughs> beds where we slept individually. Just wanted to state that. Fun thing: that bedroom is fucking tiny for a master bedroom. So mm. you know, be awkward to have them all sleeping in the same bed because there'd be no room. They get really warm, and at least one of them's going to fart at some point, and everyone will suffer. I watched a small smile grow onto Damien's lips. He shared my excitement, knowing that we'd be together longer. Who, oh, yeah. knew, who knew how long we would stay together? I cared about was that I would be with him. The others quickly left to find rest, leaving me and Damien alone at last, although I knew it was nearly passing out, apparently. Yeah. My heart fluttered a bit as Damien walked close to me. I need to see that to get that scene too as well. She seems to have a heart murmur or something. <laughs> he was happy and it was really cute to see him that way, so I didn't do anything but smile back. For you description for Damien other than whatever he did was cute. That'd be nice as well. Yeah. Just for variety's sake. I mean we get it. She thinks he's cute. 
that that's fine. That's fine, yeah. but yeah. yeah. Thank you. My hands are weirdly proportioned. Everyone's hands are weirdly proportioned. That's why they tend to hide behind the purple bar. <clears throat> You're welcome, Damien. I'm happy to have you stay here. I watched his smile brighten a bit before he cleared his throat and looked up at me with a serious face. Didn't know if it was the tiredness or my growing attachment to him, but I felt myself sway a bit on my feet. However, Damien's face made it clear that he wanted to say something else, making me forget that my bed was also calling for me. Damien nodded before holding a hand out to me. Come on, let's get you to bed. Is it going to be, we'll stay? I nodded. Please stay with me. I'm really exhausted, but don't touch me while I'm sleeping because you'll just suck my energy out and I'll die. <laughs> so, so maybe don't stay because I like being alive. That's... Well, you know he can turn it on and off because he has. Yeah, just like her. She is a bit like a light bulb in that respect, isn't she? <laughs> gonna, gonna, hey, poke. Mm. <laughs> just prod zone, sploosh. Just... I nodded before Damon Jeff lifted me up into his arms like a bride and carried me to my room. Didn't want to leave his arms, leaning my head against Damien's chest, but eventually I was slowly lowered to my bed and covered with my bed covers. Really? Covered with covers? Mm -hmm. Who'd have thought? I was still in my school clothes, but I was too tired to strip or care. I looked at Damien. Da, 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 da. That, that's she has to do that when it, that's the only way she can take clothes off. That's why she's not bothering. I was too tired to strip or care. I looked at Damien, fighting a yawn from escaping me as he gently ran a hand over my hair. Just one of them. Mm, one Just of one individual hair. <laughs> Good night. I'll make breakfast for you in the morning. I nodded with a tired smile before watching him slowly stand and leave my room, closing the door. A wave of happiness watched over me as I lay in bed, laid in bed. I made a good choice. <laughs> sure, it'd be hard, but I could tell that uh, I, uh, tell me I'd be able to manage it. Help uh, around the house and being with a man who am I was so uh, sorry to fall for would be worth it. Falls all the fucking time, so you know. Slowly felt exhaustion take over. I let sleep consume me as um, I drifted into the darkness in my mind. Crawling in my skin. <laughs> Everything was peaceful. I was happy. <laughs> I was waiting for the other shoe to drop. What? Is, it, is it done or is that the first act? I think that might be it. I think we may have got the meh ending. Yeah, we got the meh ending. Oh. Ah. Go on in. You're an interesting creature. Ah. Oh, God, that is, that is an awkward looking picture. <laughs> <laughs> ah. that, that's, you know, that's the angle that people do pictures of on Instagram to look as look as bad as possible yes that's with a shirt made of god knows what i open my eyes to see a woman staring down at me with a very sly smirk on her face i open my mouth to scream in fright but had a hand quickly covered my mouth ah 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 no screaming now too early silly girl I could only stare up at the woman above me i still felt weak not having the strength to move and fight her off what was going on and why was she here hmm why do the boys like you? You're unique. Yes, but that can't be all you have going for you. Rage began to consume my core again. This woman, whoever she was, was making me mad. Is it actually the same devil woman? Because she hasn't got the weird, well, I say weird, the slightly orange skin. I don't think it's the same because she's not wearing the same clothes. Yeah, but she did fuck off to Demon World or something, so. Mm. Devil World. Devil World! Worst theme park ever. <laughs> She must have known as she let another smirk grow onto her face. Ooh, you're feisty. That could be why. Before I could bite her hand in anger, she removed her hand from my lips, standing up and staring down at me from her place next to my bed. That looks way better, doesn't it? <laughs> that looks like a completely different person. I mean, it's a different art style, but it is pretty much the angle you know, yeah. in, in particular. And also, boobs! Titties! <laughs> I think she's a succubus. And she's definitely something. I quickly sat up. Oh, that's fabric. Look, it's a dress. I thought that was armour. No, it's definitely a dress. Yeah. I quickly sat up and gazed, glazed, gl glazed daggers. I glazed daggers. <laughs> I got some daggers out of my drawer, along with my little tub of icing I keep next to it. 
<laughs> just in case I get hungry at night. <laughs> and I glazed my daggers at her. She was very beautiful. I just thought it was just, oh, waking up in the middle of the night. It's kind of, oh, I feel awful. Opens up bedside drawer and pulls out. Of, this is just this tub of ice and starts eating it. She was very beautiful, but I felt more anger than amazement. Hello, titties. Who the hell are you and why are you in my room? Women began to laugh, making the rage inside me increase because reasons. 